we're going to discuss angles. We can think about an angle in the following way. If we have two lines lying on top of each other and we start to rotate the one line away from the other, we form an angle. And when we measure the angle, we are asking ourselves how much of a rotation do we have? Now, way back when, and it's not 100% sure in history, some say it was the Mesopotamian, some say the ancient Greeks, some say the Egyptians, it was decided that if you had gone a full circle, then what you would call that is 360 degrees. So when you go through a full rotation, like we are seeing here, then that will mean you've gone through 360 degrees. And so we talk about all our angles and can think about them in relation to that. So knowing that a full rotation is 360 degrees, if instead of doing a full rotation, we only rotate halfway, then that will be half of 360, which is 180. And if we only rotate a quarter of the way, then what we'll have is a quarter of 360, which is 90 degrees. And just take careful note here, we represent 90 degrees because it's a very special angle with this little square sign rather than the curved sign we use for most other angles. We can then use these benchmarks of 90 and 180 to help us approximate the size of other angles. So, for example, if we have a look at an angle like this, we can, say, we can see that the rotation is just short of 90 degrees. And so we can say it's approximately going to be equal to maybe like 80 degrees. Similarly, this one over here, we haven't even really gone halfway to the 90. So we're before halfway to the 90. So we're probably at around maybe 30 degrees. Whereas in this last one, we've gone past the 90 um, and we're probably between 90 and halfway between 90 and 180. So I guess here we're approximately at 135 degrees. We'll look at accurate measurements of angles later. We've just been seeing if we can get an approximate idea of their size here. Okay, let's look at naming angles and um, some of the vocab related to it. So if we want to talk about that angle, we first need to note that the angle is made up of two lines which join together at a point. Each of the lines are called arms of the angle and the point where they join is given a fancy name vertex. And when we name the angle, all we do is we start at the end of one arm, go to the vertex and then go to the end of the other arm. So for here, example here, we could call it angle B, F, A. So we would write that as angle B, F, A. And we could equally well have started at the end of the other arm. So we could have called it also angle A, F, B. So either of those are perfectly decent names for this thing here. The important thing is that what's in the letter that's in the middle is the vertex. And then what we've got on either end are the ends of the two arms. Let's see if you can give a name for this angle over here. Pause the video and name the angle. Okay, hopefully you named it. Noticing that F was still the vertex here, so you could have named it DFC or angle CFD. And just for completeness, we normally write it like this, where this little sign there means angle, but it's also completely okay to do this and put that on the top of the F to indicate angle. If we want to measure the size of an angle exactly, like we want to measure this angle here, we need to use a protractor. 
If we're going to use a protractor, we need to position it correctly. So this point on the protractor, where these two lines meet, needs to sit exactly on the vertex of the angle. And this bottom line of the protractor needs to sit along the bottom line of the angle that we rotate it from. Let me position my protractor correctly now. So I've positioned it correctly. And now I need to read off this angle. Now the question is, do I use these blue numbers or these black numbers? Well, I need to look at where my rotation has happened from. It's gone from here around so much. Where is the zero, the starting point? The zero is with the blues. So I must read off the blue scale. And so if I look here, I've ended up halfway between 60 and 70. And so my the size of my angle here is 65 degrees. On the other hand, if I'd been asked for the measurement of this angle here, then notice that where I've started rotating from, the zero is on the black, right? So I need to read off the black scale. And so I have a look around here and I see that it is 115 degrees.